What is going on, y'all? It is Fargas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland, friends. Today, we are going to do some purveyor pulls. We're going to do 20 of them and see if the RNG is on our side. And at the tail end, we're going to do a wheel spin to see what we have to make a build with. So, y'all, let's get in here. We're at 34, 39. Let's get in here and get down to 1,400 to see what our luck is going to be. Starting off with, we are going to be pulling... A Zealot's Assault Rifle with a 50, a 50, and a reduced weight. That's not terrible, though. That is absolutely not the pull that I would want for that, especially with the limb damage. But you know what? That's 40. That's, that, you know, it's 40 script. That, like, to me personally, that would, this is definitely script. Let's see what of our second one is. A Medic's Powder Rifle. Okay. Damage while aiming breaks slower. That's, I mean, you know what? I'm not upset about that. That, you're not going to be doing a lot a lot of helping your team heal uh but you know what you're gonna you're do you're gonna do a little you're gonna do a little bit of damage you'll, you'll do a little bit of damage a ooh nocturnal broadsider with the fact that it's 50 percent damage at night you know crit damage is up there and a chance to develop a stealth field now definitely not the last or the first that i would want for that but you know honestly if that was like something like any armor 50 15 crit fill i could see that being a pretty crazy win or ooh even uh instigating oh instigating might be some fun let's see what number three oh wait oh ghoul slayers broadsider damage while aiming action cost okay that look i mean that's it like what ap cost 30 oh that's still a lot okay let's see what number five is i said number three didn't i i said number three brain is not working right after this hell visha trip a little bit it's I, i'm still i'm still trying to catch up we're filming this on monday right now oh my lord Ooh. Oh, now this could be fun. No, there's nothing else other than the anti-armor. Oh, there's nothing else other than the anti-armor, but <clears throat> that could have been so... Oh, that could have been so good. Just faster movement speed and AP. I mean, at least you get AP points, but you're, you're not going to be... You're not going to be firing a lot of things at it. And right now, between these on the first five, I hope it doesn't hit a one through five on the wheel spin. Ooh. I like the Gatling gun. I like the Gatling gun, but there's no explosive effect on there, but that could be absolutely wonderful, especially with the crit damage. Now, let's see. The AP cost is 38, so you are going to eat through some of your AP, and it's going to take you a little bit to get your crit shot built up. Now, if it was a 15% crit fill and you had a luck of 25, every other shot that you land could be at a critical. And if it was a 25% less VATS, it's 33 to do the same bit of every other shot that you hit would be a critical but you know i think this would i think it'll build it in like depending on our luck you know four or five shots so it it you know that one wouldn't be bad either for number six but you know let's see what the oh troubleshooters 50 cal i'm not upset with that that actually i might actually keep that uh just as a piece because i don't think i have a 50 15 troubleshooters and i would absolutely love it to hit number seven I would absolutely love it to hit number seven because that right there would be a critical every other shot as long as we have a luck of 25. Yeah, I, I like, I, yeah, sure, give that to me and then I'll, I'll go take out some uh, robots in Watoga or something like that. Let's see, a medic's combat shotgun. Now, this would help you heal your team a little bit more, a little bit faster than the other just because of the amount of shots that you can get off before having to reload, but. Advanced hit chance and a faster movement speed while aiming kind of counter uh, intuitive uh, of of each other. So you know, hey, that's it's okay. I, I, like you know, I'm not I'm not upset about that at all. This could be fun. Now this could be fun, but I would like it to be a faster fire rate for the crit damage. That's what I would like to have as the second. The generate stealth field. Don't really care for it. Not going to be really useful. But at the end of the day. Still could be a fun one, especially with the executioner's, you know, you know, legendary effect. I could get behind that. I could absolutely get behind that. Oh, this is, oh, this is going to be a cursed day, isn't it, for a build? The medic single action revolver. I, I, I'm just there. I'm just. I'm not even. I don't. I'm. I don't even know what's going on right now. Did I upset someone at Helvetia to be giving me these rolls? I, I like I was hanging out. I was hanging out. You're giving me these cursed rolls. Oh my god, y'all are gonna have so much fun watching this. Oh, the mutants black powder blunderbuss. You know, honestly, 
It's got reload speed. You know what? It's got reload speed. I'm I'm okay with this. I'm gonna be aiming. So at least it you know what? At least it's at least it's the best of you know, I mean AP cost is twenty eight. I'm not gonna be using this in, you know, in Vance, but I'll damage while aim, get a little bit of extra damage. I mean, 175 damage on top of the mutants and the damage while aiming. Probably, you know what? Let's let 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 the wheel hit that. Let the wheel hit that one. I'll be perfectly fine with it. I don't even know what number that is right there. A broadsider limb damage, faster movement speed. Oh no! It is very cursed today. It is very cursed today. Vampire Snub Nose 44. Now, we can make that larger, and we can ask, do you feel lucky, punk? That one actually, like, that one, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be great as far as, like, doing damage and stuff like that. It'll still do damage, but 35 AP, God, it's gonna eat through, it's gonna eat through that AP. Oh, my God, and vats. But it still can put out some damage. It still can absolutely put out some damage. Hey, look, collect energy ammo. I didn't realize that was a daily today. I hadn't checked it out. Uh, suppressor short flamer. Hey, you know what? I wouldn't mind doing a flamer build, though. We just did a flamer build, and that may be a thing that we make a rule in the future is say we get two of the same types, like back to back in the wheel spin. I think we'll just re spin that way. Like, that way it's not the same build, and it's, you know, it makes it a little bit different. Uh, but let's see. You know what? I'd still have fun with it. I'd still, I'd still have fun with it. We got, we got a few more suppressors suppressors uh short pump action shotgun bash damage perception not a useful second not a useful third but you know what that's what the purveyor uh has deemed to give us uh a nocturnal uh black powder uh blunderbuss not a good first not a good well i mean the first is not bad but the second is not good you know you're gonna spend <laughs> a lot of time reloading so yeah uh yeah you know what you know the third's not that bad but Oh, my lantern. A Zealot's Assault Rifle. Uh, let's see. Last round in the mags. You know, I mean, honestly, that's not bad. You know, honestly, because your mag's not going to be that high. So, honestly, that's not a bad... That wouldn't be a bad one to do a build around. I, I would not be upset with this. I would not be upset with this. Okay? If, if, if the wheel wants to give me something like in the 17 range, wherever we're at, yeah, I would not mind doing a build with a bloodied 50, you know, 50 crit. You know, even the stealth chance. Even the stealth chance. I I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, no. Suppressor's harpoon gun. Oh, no, no, no. And for the last one, number 20. Are we going to do two explosives back to back? We were just talking about that. Please don't give me a 20. I like rolling 20s in D&D &D and stuff like that. But please, 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 please. Where, where is that tab at? Please, where? Oh, please, no. All right, so I just kept the same one from last week. Let's get in here. Let's hit the number. Oh, what are, what are we hoping for? Not a 20. Oh. What was eight? Hey, look, it's the Vampire's Flamer from last week. It's number eight. Everybody thought that was number seven. It wasn't. All right, hold a second. Let's see. Let's go in here. Let's look at the new. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not ammo. Oh, no. Looks like we're going to be doing a little bit of a shotgun build. Oh, that is, this is not the one I was wanting, but you know what? I can have some fun with it. I can absolutely have some fun with it, but y'all hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully you enjoy this series and everything that comes with it. Seriously, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And seriously, y'all, hopefully you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland during Fosh Night. Y'all, I'd love to thank our channel members. Frugan, Just Jake, Herb, Cross, Blood, Sebastian, Nova, Prophet, Zach, CRM, Blaze, Patas, Bug, Crimper, Relish, Gravy Train, I am Mr. Minachu, Andy, Warren, Coma, Patrick, Super, Loki, Petty, Lewis, Force, James, Purple Days, Hokey, Bo, Crab King, Articular, Mike, Vermilion, George, Ian, Jesse, Zen, Turkey, Ready, Star, Space, Zero, Early, Ozzy, Valerie, Aratho, Megsley, Dale, Carl, Jordan, I.K. Scott, Thax, Trey, Mark, Chase and Panther, Andy, Ed, Arctic, Grandma, Elric, Voss, Jolly, Scoundrel, James, Social, AEB, Alex, Nick, Jody, Biowagon, Joe, Unroyal, Dennis, Vin, Andrew, Allen, Hoshi, Cafe, Loco, Labyrinth, Potus Gaming, Robco, Smokey, Bay, and Ghost. Thank y'all so much for supporting us out here in the wasteland. Y'all have a great and wonderful day, and we'll catch you later, friends. Peace, y'all.